Hello everyone, it's Leon here from Kotaku. I'm with Adam Landridge from Wonderstruck and this is the Marvelous Mistake. Now explain to us what this is. Okay, so the Marvelous Mistake is an action heist game all about improvisation and it breaks a lot of the rules of the stealth genre quite happily. So um, we make it super duper easy to play, it's purely mouse driven. And uh, you play Sophia, uh, who's the lady with the hats and the bag. And uh, normally in a stealth game, um, the usual experience I have, and I love a lot of stealth games, are, uh, are that you'll do that violence, uh, you'll hide in the shadows, and you'll watch a guard do a patrol route. And, um, and then at the right time, you'll learn the route and you'll sneak out and kill them. And in this game, we do the opposite of all of these things. So the guards, if you look over here, are random. That guard, I don't know what he's about to do. Um, oh, he's going this way. And um, there's no way to hide because he's unpredictable. Um, and there's absolutely no violence as well. So there's nothing I can do to incapacitate this guard. What I can do though, is I can move around very easily. So Miss Sophia is very easy to move around. I can also very clearly see how the guards work. And I'm very capable of leading them around. I can let them see me for a little bit of time. Or I could throw a gadget over here. And that would distract this guard and lead them away from where I want them to be. You know, lead them towards where I want them to be, away from where I want to be. And um, this is pretty much the premise of the game. Like, my job is to be the smartest woman in the room and uh, sneak around, avoid cameras, sniffer dogs, guards, I host other traps, or I just sneak here, get that. And uh, clean out the gallery. I've got to find beautiful art and nick it. But I'm, uh, I'm nicking it back. You're a goodie, really. So uh, let's see, what else have I got here? Well, I don't need to steal that bit of loot there. That's a bonus loot. So I just go to the lift and uh, go to the next floor, which is where it pops up, really. So the guards are completely unpredictable. They, they just do it completely randomized kind of procedure, well, not procedural, but just random. That's right, yeah, they're, they're random. So it's quite interesting. They are, uh, although they are unpredictable in their movements, they are reliably stupid. I know that I can get this guard to walk into the corner of this room by doing that. So that's great. That means that I can, in fact, I also know that I can let that guard see me for a little bit of time and lure him this way. In fact, here's a little bit of bonus loot here. I'm going to smash that. That will scare the bystander who fetches a guard, who now comes to check it out. So we've got like a whole host of systems which build together to make an interesting little ecosystem of stealth, really. If, I, if this camera sees me, that alerts the guard. The guards are after me and I can't hurt them, so I'm just trying to run away now. But the guards are quicker than me. It goes a little bit Benny Hill there. But that was a deliberate thing. I didn't want to have an extended part of the game where it turns into a combat game where I had to fight off guards and hide in a locker for a few minutes. If the guards are wrong to you, you're going to have to be lucky or good to get away from it. And um, when's this out? Well, we're hoping to get it out pretty soon, although we're still trying to finalise the, uh, the launch, exact launch date. Um, although we are getting fairly close to finishing it, so please watch this space. Yeah. And so it's one click, is it? Everything's just like... Yeah, so it's one click to move, and all, the only thing I need to decide is where do I want Sophia to go, and how quickly. So she knows to crouch when there's a guard around that I should hide from. So uh, there's a guard over here. Let's have a look. So this area here, where there's a shadow behind the camera, you see that shape she crouches there because it's a good idea to do that but if i run around just by holding down the mouse button she won't crouch and she also makes more noise yeah. even though she's quicker now the right mouse button we've reserved for the gadget so this is a gadget i can throw in a predictable arc hopefully there we are and uh, that attracts the guys as well there's a load of other gadgets there's teleporters smoke bombs glue traps but it's all very sort of acme stealth gadgets uh, nothing too brutal. And you, is it always kind of art galleries? What you got other places to? Yeah, it's, to... it's all art galleries. So there's a there's a story which is actually based on a little bit of a real life story where some fellow has an amazing collection of art, but after he died, it was split up against his will. Um, so his will stipulated to keep it together, keep it in in his house, but it was split up and shared amongst other galleries nearby. And it's a little bit based on that. If we go to the uh, the home screen. Let's go back to the home gallery. Uh, this gallery starts off completely empty, but what I'm trying to do is refill it. So Sophia's aunt had an amazing collection of art, Sophia inherited it, and then our villain, Ralph Blackstock, 
came along with a, a sort of suspiciously newer will and then um, claimed all the art and shared it amongst his rich mates. Yeah. And Sophia's a nobody, she, she doesn't know what to do about this. So rather than fight it in the courts, she decides to become the world's greatest art thief. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so out as soon as possible on PC and... Yes, uh, PC first. If it goes well, we want to get it everywhere. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Let's kill a few of these guys first. Huh. Interrogate. Huh. 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 Hu